Hi there, my name is Ilya and you are watching my YouTube channel where I share some useful information and my thoughts about it. Today we will be talking about Azure Active Directory Connect and how to upgrade to the latest version. You know there is a reason for that, Microsoft will retire all first versions on August 2022. And I would say you don't have much time for doing that. Anyway, first things first. Azure Active Directory Connect is the completely free tool to synchronize Active Directory domain services and uh, Azure Active Directory. It is the basis for all hybrid scenarios and integration with Azure. Typically, IT staff deploys Azure Active Directory Connect and forgets about it. It works in background and even can be updated automatically. Auto-upgrade or auto-update in Azure Active Directory Connect is a feature that has been available since uh, 2017, but it's time right now to pay attention to Azure Active Directory Connect. The point is that Microsoft will retire all first versions on August 2022 and six months left before the moment when old Azure Active Directory Connect is unsupported. But I said that Azure Active Directory Connect updates itself. Yes, but not for this case. Automatically upgrade or automatically update is not supported when you move between the first release, first version and the second one. Two different versions for upgrading are available. If you have Azure Active Directory Connect version 1 running on Windows Server 2016, in place upgrade is available. All you need, uh, the installation requires TLS 1.2. If it's not enabled on your server, you have to do it by running a PowerShell script. It will add some registry keys and all other steps are pretty simple. You just download Azure Active Directory Connect version 2 and run upgrade process. During the upgrade process, of course, synchronization will be stopped. Uh, after Azure Active Directory Connect upgrade, full sync will occur between your on-premise Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. But if you have Azure Active Directory Connect version 1 running on Windows Server 2012 or 2012 R2, the process of upgrade will be a little bit complicated. Yeah, uh, you will need a new server and go through a process called swing migration. It's about swing migration that we will talk about next. But first of all, the question, what are the major changes? Why do we have to migrate to the second version of Azure Active Directory Connect? Azure Active Directory Connect uses SQL Server as a storage, as a database engine. Version 2 ships with SQL Server 2019 instead SQL Server 2012. Yeah, since support for SQL Server 2012 ended on, oh not, not ended, will end on July 12 in 2022. Yeah, it's the reason why Microsoft does it. And of course, a and also ADAL Active Directory Authentication Library will be replaced by MSAL Library. And this release of Azure Active Directory Connect supports only TLS 1.2 because TLS 1.0, 1.1, these protocols are insecure and are not supported by Microsoft. And of course, Windows Server 2012 and 2012 R2 are no longer supported. And uh, now Azure Active Directory Connect must be installed on a domain joint Windows, 7, uh, Windows Server 2016 or later. PowerShell 5. This release of Azure Active Directory Connect contains several CMDLEDs that require PowerShell 5. In a nutshell, I would say that Azure Active Directory Connect version 2 is trying to get rid of old unsupported components. As I already said, automatic upgrade is not supported when you switch between the first and the second versions. And uh, if you have Windows Server 2012, uh, if you use Windows Server 2012 for 
Active Directory Connect. The step number one is to prepare a new server for your new Azure Active Directory Connect deployment. There are no special requirements for the operating system. It must be supported, it must be updated. Uh, that's why the step number one is to check if TLS 1.2 support is enabled on your operating system. If not, all you have to do is to create a few register keys and do a reboot. Uh, you can find a link to the register keys in the attached comment. The step number two, export Active Directory Connect configuration. If you don't want to specify all settings on deployment, you must export them on the old server. This is especially important if custom synchronization rules are used in your company. When, uh, when deploying the new one, you will specify the configuration file and the new installation will copy the parameters of the old server. Okay, of course, it's not mandatory. You can deploy without any preparations without any export old, uh, without exporting old configurations. But this step really simplifies everything. Just export con the configuration from the old server. And one more thing, please write down or take a screenshot of user sign-in settings. You will need to provide the settings in Azure Active Directory Connect setup wizard on the new server. Yeah, Azure Active Directory Export Configuration Wizard does not export sign-in settings. I do not know why that, <laughs> yeah, just write the settings down. Previously, you needed two accounts to set up Azure Active Directory Connect. Uh, you needed domain administrator for on-premise Active Directory and a global administrator for your tenant. As a matter of fact, you can still use the account with the global administrator privileges. It works, but uh, we no longer need the global administrator role for this. In Azure Active uh, Directory Connect version 2, you can use a user account with the hybrid identity administrator user role and uh, use this account when Azure Active Directory connect to the cloud. If you want to avoid using global administrator for deploying, just create a new account, just uh, provide necessary uh, roles for it and yeah, you can use it uh, in the deployment process. Step number four, we are starting to deploy the new Azure Active Directory Connect server, but at the same time, the old server keeps working. We did nothing with the old server. Of course, except exporting configuration, it means that our old Azure Active Directory Connect server keeps working right now. The deployment process of the new server is very pretty simple. You should definitely select customized deployment. This will allow you to choose the configuration of the old server. As I already said before, you will need to specify the sign-in info separately. Further, there is nothing interesting. It's hardly possible to make a mistake somewhere. But at the very end, you have a chance to screw it up. Now we don't need to run synchronization on the new server because the old one is still running. That's why we have to use staging mode. If staging mode is enabled, the server does not run any export. A server in staging mode is not running password sync or password write back even if you selected this feature during the installation. I would say when we enable staging mode, we do not allow to our server to export any information to Azure Active Directory. But at the same time, all services uh, will be working and uh, yeah, the server will be waiting for other our commands. After the installation is complete, all you have to do is check that the new server is fully synchronized. Once again, don't freak out, synchronization with staging mode does nothing. Now we have a new server and uh, it's time to switch the synchronization from the old one to the new one. Next, everything is easy. You just open Azure Active Directory Connect on the old server 
enable staging mod option and finish configuration process. It's important to understand that after this step, synchronization doesn't work neither on the old server nor on the new one. And at the moment your mission accomplished. Long life on premise technology. Of course I'm joking. All we have to do is to connect to a new server and disable staging mod. It's even easier now, you just open staging options, staging settings on the new server and disable it. Then you change something, start synchronization process and check that the changes appeared in Azure Active Directory. At this point, I congratulate you. We don't have to connect to the new server until Azure Active Directory Connect 3 comes out. Of course, I'm kidding. Maybe not. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. I hope the process of upgrading your servers goes smoothly. Yeah, good luck and see you later.